leadership has been around for centuries, whether we're talking about the Roman Empire or every war needs a leader. And I have taken two leadership classes and I've attended many seminars on being a leader and how leadership works and going to seminars and everything like that is very important on learning how to be a leader, how is it going to benefit you and being a leader can benefit you in so many different ways, whether you want to be in business, sports, being a leader is someone people can look up to and it can be very beneficial for you in the long run. Some examples about being a leader is somebody like LeBron James. He is a NBA player in the National Basketball Association, and he has always been a leader since he went into the NBA and in high school. Everybody looked up to him, and being a leader isn't about bossing people around or telling people what to do. It is about being a leader is about being selfless. You put others before yourself. You don't just care about yourself. Because nobody wants somebody telling them what to do or yelling at them all the time. They want a leader, someone they can look up to, and they want to do well because they like that leader or a specific person. One of the many things that's really helped me out is having a mentor. Having a mentor is someone you can talk to and ask questions about. And usually you want your mentor to be older than you because they've gone through life and everything and they can bounce ideas off of you and let you know what you can do better to become a leader and to better off your traits in the long run. My third thing that I want to talk about is books. Books are a tremendous way to learn information quick. They have so many leadership books and I've read countless books myself and many of my mentors have told me to read this book or emphasize more about the bigger picture and not the small picture like maybe in a year you won't be where you want to be as a leader but building onto those years and getting help from your mentors and people you look up to in five to ten years you could be a CEO of your company and the leader of that company so overall leadership is a big big category to be a part of because who wouldn't want to be a leader? Who wouldn't want people to look up to them, have little kids run around and talk about you and say, wow, I want to be like him when I grow up and everything. And one person that really sticks out to me is a big leader, one of the best leaders ever, is Steve Jobs. He built Apple up from nothing. And when they got rid of Steve Jobs, they wondered why they couldn't produce enough phones or watches or something like that. But Steve Jobs was such a great leader and such a personable person that he was able to build Apple to a multi-billion dollar company. And everybody looked up to him and Apple because he was smart, he was personable, he wasn't mean to anyone, he didn't boss anyone around, he just did what he had to do and was a leader and brought everyone around him up instead of down. Another very, very good leader is Jeff Bezos, the CEO of Amazon. The CEO of Amazon, Jeff Bezos, is so smart and he's done so much with Amazon that it is one of the most shopped on site in the world and he's done this in just a matter of years. My references for leadership and the three main books that I've focused on, I've read over and over again are the energy, bus, the energy Bus by John Gordon, The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership by John C. Maxwell, and The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. These three books are very good. They talk about the energy bus. The energy bus is about having positivity and not bringing yourself down, but always maintaining the energy that people want to be around. And The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership is about the 21 main points to being a leader and how you can build to that point to become somebody like Steve Jobs or Jeff Bezos. And The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People is about ways to be effective throughout life, which means getting up early, working out, starting on all of your work early, and never procrastinating or anything like that, and always build up the people around you. And one of my favorite quotes about leadership is by 
Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and it is I Have a Dream. He was so he was such a leader that he had everyone look up to him and he they loved what he spoke about and everything. And this quote is one of the bigger quotes. Everyone should know it, but it's a very good quote about leadership. And if you want someone to look up to as a mentor, read about what Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. did.